Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be doing kind of a special uh, Lifestyles Roundup edition of NCIX Tech Tips. We'll be looking at four different sub notebooks from HP, Acer, Asus, and MSI. And what's the difference between a notebook and a sub notebook? Well, a sub notebook is really, really small. First up, we've got the Acer Aspire 1, which is the least expensive of the subnotes we have here today. It has a 9-inch LED backlit display. It's powered by Intel Atom. It has 512 megs of system memory, and it has a Linux operating system on its 8-gig solid-state drive. Next up, we have the MSI Wind, which is unfortunately the pink one, because availability of the other colors is not quite what it should be at this time. It's powered by Intel Atom, and it does have a 10-inch LED backlit display. It has 1 gig of system memory and an 80 gig magnetic storage drive. Next up, we've got the ASUS EEE 901, which is the successor to the original EEE. It has a 12 gig solid state drive system. It has a 9 inch display and it has Intel Atom at the heart of it. Also, it is in the smallest form factor of all the ones here today and comes with Windows XP. Last but not least, we've got the HP 2133, which is probably the most professional looking of the subnotes here. It is powered by a VSC7 processor, 1 gig of system memory, a 120 gig hard drive, and Windows Vista. The C7 is probably going to be the weakest point. It's a little slow compared to the Atom. Notebook keyboards are often uncomfortable, sometimes impossible to use, and you don't always get to try it out when you're buying online. So the cameraman and I took these home and tried to actually use them as a test. Basically, the ASUS EEE, the spacing was way too close together for my fat fingers and was probably better suited for a small child or someone with very small hands. I can reach the Enter and Shift OK. It does have an English-only layout. Now with the Acer Aspire 1, the keyboard was a little bit bigger than the ASUS EEE. You can see the spacing for my fingers is quite a little bit better. This keyboard was usable for me, but the multilingual layout means I can't reach the right enter comfortably, and I also had a hard time hitting the left shift because of this weird button. Not sure what that's for. The MSI Wind is pretty much a little bit bigger version of the Aspire 1 keyboard. It's multilingual, so the enter was again hard for me to hit. The right shift's okay, but the left shift again has this multilingual button here. The HP 2133, on the other hand, is uh, the Cadillac of sub-notebook keyboards. This thing is a dream to use. It's an English-only layout, so the enter is very comfortable, and the left shift is also extremely easy to reach. So how'd you like to see this on your bookshelf? Just wanted to do a quick comparison, holding them up end like this. I've got the ASUS EEE 901 here, the Acer Aspire 1 right here, the HP 2133, and the MSI Wind. And I'm just going to turn them this way so you can get a better perspective for the overall size of these little notebooks. I'm also going to turn them up on their sides so you can see the thickness a little bit better, especially the battery pack, such as on the ASUS EEE 901, because that's why you're going to get that exceptional battery life. It's a six cell battery. We wanted to talk a little bit about what kind of ports you get on these sub notebooks if you want to plug in your headphones or your external webcam or whatever else. So they're all basically the same. The Acer Aspire 1, you can see here, you've got a mic, headphones, a couple USB, and then a multi-card reader. That's one feature of the Aspire 1 that is different from all the others. They all have only one SDHC capable slot, whereas the Aspire 1 has two. It's actually got another SDHC here and then also the multi-card reader. So here on this side, you see you've got your power, VGA, Ethernet, and an additional USB port. Also, the HP 2133 has an express card port, which the other three do not have. So that covers your expansion. So we talked about the size, but what we didn't talk about is what you have to carry around with it. On the small end, you've got the ASUS power brick, and on the large end, you've got the HP one. You can see how the incredibly efficient Intel Atom processor allows you to have a much smaller power adapter. And uh, the MSI and the Acer Aspire 1 power bricks are pretty close to the ASUS. Now, in terms of other accessories, the Acer one comes with kind of a pleathery little slip, and uh, not much else. The ASUS EEE 901 comes with a velvety slip and a microfiber cloth, which they should all come with because they're all fingerprint magnets. Next, you've got the MSI Wind, which comes with kind of a plasticky, pinky uh, zipper case. And then you've got the HP 2133, which doesn't really come with any accessories. They all come with a recovery DVD of some sort for uh, Linux, Windows XP, XP, and Vista. 
So for my next trick, I'm going to need the cameraman to come be my assistant. We're going to demonstrate the startup time of these notebooks. Whether you're a professional on the go or a student, it's going to be pretty important to be able to whip out your sub note and take some quick notes or uh, you know, check an email or whatever else you need to do. So I'm going to get the cameraman to start these two, and I'm going to start these two at the same time. Three, two, one, go. So our startup time test, the uh, Aspire One ran away with it. We plugged them all in so to make the test as fair as possible. Basically the Aspire One wins because it's got a smaller, lighter operating system with Linux, it's got a solid state hard drive, and it uses the Intel Atom processor. On the other end of the spectrum, we've got the HP 2133 which was as fast as molasses. Um, it uses a magnetic drive. It's got a slower processor and it runs Windows Vista, which takes a little longer. So now it's time for our recommendations. First up, I would recommend the Triple E for people with small childlike hands because it has the smallest form factor, the best battery life, but this keyboard was not usable for me with my fat fingers. Next up, the Acer Aspire 1. We thought this was a very good compromise for Joe Average who just wants a little PC with great functionality. It also comes with the lowest price point out of any of the subnotes that we have here today. Now, the HP 2133 will have to recommend for people with, uh, who are more concerned with the, the form over the overall speed of the notebook. We're really excited to see what HP has coming featuring Intel Atom. And the MSI Wind, we're going to have to recommend for people who want to wait forever for the color they want, because right now pink's the only one available. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.